Thousands of women have learned how to defend themselves from being a victim of rape as part of a self-defense class offered in La Crosse. Twenty-two of those women have told their instructor the skills they learned helped them fight off an attacker. News 8's Jenna Trauman, reporter, photographer rather, Kevin Hoy, spent the last two months in that class. Jenna now joins us live to show us how anyone can learn to defend themselves. If you want to protect yourself from a potential attacker, it's not enough to just learn about safety. To fight through your fear, you have to physically train. And that's exactly what the women in this class came to do. <laughs> Fighting is a lot like playing piano. <laughs> Granted, it does look and sound a little different. But the point is, if you expect to sit down and play Mozart, if you've never touched the keys before, you're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> and as Master Larry Klein will be quick to tell you, it's the same concept when it comes to self-defense. You train a strike, and then you do it again, you do it again, and you do it again. It's the ability to do something without thought. And... The way our brains work is, is it works well on repetition. We have to keep reinforcing that synaptic pathway. And when we do, you may be subjected to horrendous stress, but you'll always fall back on what you were trained to do. This is a one-inch pine board. It takes about the same amount of force to break this as it does to break a human rib. If you can break a board, breaking a nose should be no problem. What were you thinking when you went up there? That it wouldn't break, that it just would not. How could I possibly do that? I've never done that before. Jackie Urban enrolled in the class after she thought she heard someone breaking into her house one night. It ended up being nothing, but she realized she wasn't prepared to defend herself. When it was her turn to break a board, she did it on the first try. And she's not alone. Every single woman in this class broke a board. One of the reasons we have you break boards is to prove to that midbrain that, hey, yeah, this, this works. I can do this. But sometimes the brain reacts to this class in strange ways. A few of the women started having nightmares. Someone attacking me, you know, and as I get into the car to go home or um, walking across the parking lot or having to open the door and someone jumps in at you. Um, sometimes that, that's what I dream. Do you fight back? Um, yeah, but I didn't know how. It may manifest itself as a confrontation and your strikes don't work. You remember all of them, you're hitting them just as hard as you can and nothing's happening. But as the weeks of the class go on, the dreams start changing. I seem to have a little bit more power, you know, instead of just waking up startled and scared. Um, I actually see myself fighting back with the skills that I'm gaining. So, you know, the, the, you know someone's choking you and you spin out and smack them in the nose. It takes a lot to walk in that door to do this. What do we do? We bring every nightmare to life. Every scenario that is just like an, oh my God, I hope that never happens to me, we try to bring it to life. Why? Because once you have faced it and fought through it, you own it. It's done and it's gone. Practicing strikes and getting out of chokeholds are all great practice, but can you really fight off an actual attacker? We'll find out tomorrow night with a look at graduation when students have to fight their way out of a simulated attack. Now, we saw a lot of the physical aspects of training to defend themselves, but I imagine there's a lot more that goes into it, you know, than just the physical aspects of that. Absolutely, and like you said, we are mostly focusing on the physical aspects, but actually the first class, we just talked about things like home security and sticking with the group, so those are options as well. Just being mentally ready. Okay. Also, you know, I wanted to point out that you can see the final part of Jenna's series tomorrow on News 8 at 10. And be sure to check out part one of Fighting Through the Fear on our website at news8000.com.